Hi, my name is Amy Compton Horner and I'm Professor of Horticulture and Landscape Management at Pensacola State College in both Pensacola and Milton, Florida. The degree program that I teach in is Landscape and Horticulture Management and throughout the country there's different degree names but most of them are going to be somewhere in that general area of landscaping, environmental horticulture, um, horticulture, horticultural science, there may be even turf grass management and some other specialty areas. Uh, the degree program that we have is a very broad degree and students in um, this type of degree area can go into turf grass management, maybe work on turf farms, work at golf courses, uh, also work at apartment complexes, um, taking care of the grass and other plantings. Um, there's also two landscape designers. Um, the classification of landscape designer might be someone who may or may not have a degree depending on the state. Um, then you could um, do anything other than what a landscape architect could do, so you could design plantings. So there's lots of students that may go through a program like this and become landscape designers that produce hand draft landscape designs or computer drafted landscape designs and sell those designs outright. They may also too work with landscape installation companies. Landscape insula installation companies as well would be um, people that may have this type of degree where they do bid or estimates for planting plants, uh, installing plants, maybe even doing paver work, um, fencing, anything else that would go into a landscape, fountains, um, that type of thing. Um, so that's a big area for landscaping. Other areas might be greenhouse crop management, uh, working in greenhouses, um, working in production facilities, producing liners, producing finished plants, producing floricultural plants, those would be like potted mums, African violets, that type of thing. Um, they may also work in food production from the standpoint of um, hothouse tomatoes or lettuce produced hydroponically. So all of those areas, it's very diverse. Different degree programs throughout the U.S. might have more specialized degrees like turf grass degrees or greenhouse crop management degrees, but a degree in horticulture gives you lots of opportunities for working um, outside. Um, there are some inside type jobs, um, like landscape designers might work mostly inside, do a little bit of outside work. Plant brokers or people that work in garden centers, um, the, all of those areas are diverse for horticulture. As far as the types of the degrees that are offered for um, people wanting to go into landscape and horticulture management, um, there's probably two basic types of degrees offered throughout the U.S. One type of two-year degree would lead straight to employment, so you're going to be taking most of your classes in the area of horticulture. You might take half of your classes in horticulture and the other half would be math, English, social sciences, that type of thing to make it a college degree. Um, the other type of degree might be just your gen ed credits, general education credits, math, English, chemistry, all different types of sciences that might would then lead to a four-year degree. So there's two-year degrees um, that are just two-year degrees that stand out right where you would be taking mostly horticulture and then four-year degrees um, and the two-year degree oftentimes for most states because um, different states have different requirements for admission into four-year institutions but you might just be taking your gen ed credits and then when you get to your junior level courses at the university that you're going to attend for your four-year degree, then you might start taking your horticulture classes. Some um, colleges and universities might have a mixture, so it just depends. Uh, as far as the coursework, again, it may depend on how specialized the degree is. If you're going for a turf grass management degree um, versus just a straight horticulture degree, you might spend more time specializing in more pesticide type classes, insect classes, entomology classes. If you're getting a more broad-based horticulture degree, you might take classes all over a spectrum of golf course, turf management, pest and pest control, greenhouse crop management, landscape design, landscape management, um, soils, any number of different um, uh, combinations of those types of classes to give you a broad base um, of the scientific knowledge and the practical knowledge needed 
to work in this field. And that is the one thing about this field um, that varies from a lot of other academic fields is that a lot of times to, to gain employment you have to have proven that you can work in this type of environment. It's different than, you know, working uh, just straightly behind a computer. You have to prove that you have the know-how and the skills. So many um, degree programs require that you have a co-op, uh, cooperative education experience where you get credit for working. Um, they may require an internship um, and of all different varying times, sometimes it might be a semester, sometimes it might be the entire time that you're there, or after you graduate you might um, do an internship before you actually seek permanent employment. One of the things that I always tell students, no matter what their degree is, if they're planning on going into a specific career field, is look into the jobs that are available in the area that you're going to want to be employed in. Maybe make contact with the people, um, the institutions or the organizations, the companies that you want to work with, and look to see what types of jobs they actually have. Um, with that, um, you know, looking at um, the type of environment that you're going to be working in. One of the things that I always tell students that are interested in this area is I can teach you everything about plants and horticulture other than one thing. I can't teach you how to um, love to be outside and be uh, uh, outdoors um, because a lot of this type of work requires that. So that would be the first prerequisite for um, a type of job in this area is just loving plants, being outside, loving the outdoors. Uh, beyond that, I would tell you to look into during the summers uh, or at any point in time that you have the ability to, to get some experience working in the field, even if it's working at a local garden center. Um, just getting um, knowledge from the people that work there, you'll learn a lot from the people that you work with and what the job field is like, what the pay scale is, and because the pay scale can vary greatly from all these different types of jobs uh, and the type of environment and the hours that you're working. Uh, like for instance, golf course work, you're usually there at five or six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> if you're not a morning person, you probably shouldn't be working at a golf course. Um, so all of those types of things give you a broad base to draw upon as far as what type of actual specific job that you may want. Um, beyond that, getting involved in student organizations, we uh, have a horticulture club, um, getting involved doing volunteering with uh, organizations like the Master Gardeners, which is usually run through state extension services, um, local botanical gardens. Uh, if you can't find a job there working during the summer as you're a student, uh, volunteer. Uh, even volunteering at schools, helping them um, with their uh, landscaping and gardening is a great way to get some experience.